Eastern Hills Mall is a shopping center that was opened in 1971 in Williamsville, New York. It is a little under 1 million square feet, with three current anchors, J.C. Penney, The Buffalo Store, and Raymore and & Flanagan. Many of the stores within it are locally owned small businesses, which have been hit hard with months-long state-mandated closures during the 2020 coronavirus pandemic. Eastern Hill's first renovation was in 1987. Much of the decor today is very late 80s with highlights of pink and mauve throughout. However, a second renovation was completed in 2005, which changed seating options and added flat screens and fresh tiling in some areas. Geometric patterns and pineapple-like lighting accents around the small fountain are leftovers from an earlier time, untouched by the renovations, and add a retro charm to it that is amplified by the antique mall down the corridor. One really lovely aspect of the mall is the size of the indoor plants. Many umbrella plants look as though they've been growing for decades and have a lot of fresh growth. Skylights and the moisture of the fountain in the mall seem to be a favorable combination. Eastern Hills Mall began to decline during the 90s and hasn't really recovered since. Despite being nestled in a very affluent part of western New York, the mall is usually the second choice as its main competition is a larger and newer mall, the Walden Galleria. With COVID-19 seriously limiting the number of stores operating and the hours during which they are open cut back to the absolute minimum, the experience of shopping was lackluster. No food court kiosks were open, but the dog food bakery appeared open. The Eastern Hills Mall website has 65 businesses in their online directory, of which four are temporarily closed, while many others are open weekends only or half days. Dead malls because it's like archaeology. You get to analyze the remains of stores that in some cases existed for decades in a location before they withered away, often leaving just a label scar of what once existed. It's fun to try and guess what used to thrive in a location based on the hints of what is behind a now shuttered storefront. Usually you can pick out a fitting room or the mirrors left over, but frequently there's really nothing in there at all. The has been used for a variety of events over the years for various interests, community events, and disaster relief. The large parking lot in a central location for the city lends itself to be a prime meeting place to organize. One example of the type of events that were hosted shortly after its opening was the Eastern Hills Mall Championship. The cycling club held a race with 80 contestants in the first run during 1972. Surely the newly opened mall was a huge attraction, and the large parking lot was probably beneficial to the numerous competitors and spectators. During the 2019 transformation from the former Bonton store to the current occupant Raymore and Flanagan, a fire broke out on the roof one evening. No one was injured, and it seemed as though it was noticed quickly. 
Construction workers were using acetylene torches earlier in the day, though the cause of the fire wasn't really confirmed. Currently, there is discussion to deconstruct parts of the mall and create a mini town complete with residential, retail, medical, and senior living, all within one large plot. This is being negotiated in an ambitious 25-year and $300 million plan. The mall sits with many empty storefronts covered in drapes or shuttered clothes, waiting for either new leaseholders to negotiate with the mall's property management or the plans for the mini town revamp to go through. The customers inside seem few and far between, with many possibly enjoying the quiet building as a prime location for mall walking away from the busier locations of more frequented shopping malls. Overall, it is a mall in decline and has been hit hard with the economic struggles brought on by a population in quarantine and the fallout of many businesses going under. It had problems before the coronavirus, but it seems as though the likelihood of a mall built on primarily small local owned businesses pulling through is unlikely.